So for this tutorial we'll be learning how to create drop down menu, how to allow for multiple selections and also a radio option. So to start off with this is how you create a drop down menu. You need to use the select tag. Then you come over here and then you type in the option tag. And you need to set the value attribute to whatever options you're actually allowing. So I'm going to open some car manufacturers. So just going to copy and paste that. Put in BMW. And I think I'll have one more car maker, Mercedes. So there you go, we've just created our drop down menu. Now I can turn this into a multiple selection simply by coming over here and typing in multiple. So now the user can select more than one option. So if I come and select Sab, hold control and BMW, you can see both of them can be selected. Now for the radio option, it is a bit different. You need to use the input tag. So you type input and then you come within the type attribute and type in radio then you set the name now I'm going to demonstrate using some gender option I'm going to put a breaking tag so they're not next to each other alright so you may have noticed that I've set the name attribute to be the same over here, gender and gender. Now the reason for this is is that what this does is that it allows for only one option to be selected. So this is how the browser knows that these two are grouped together as it checks for the name attributes and it sees that both of them are the same. So now if I preview this, there you go, I can only if I select this and then switch here, the other one gets deselected. So only one option can be selected.